Despite a booming economy, homelessness remains a serious problem in Oklahoma. Now, state officials are hoping public input will help them to develop a plan to dramatically reduce chronic homelessness within the next five years. Not very good sleeping on cold concrete. Richard Countess has been homeless since becoming injured on the job eight months ago. He's been out of work ever since and finding shelter where he can, which he says has been hard on his health. I've been in the hospital for pneumonia from it, but I'm uh, doing a lot better. Countess and others here at this day shelter in Oklahoma City are exactly who the governor's interagency council on homelessness would like to help. And they hope an online survey will provide some answers. Council Vice Chairman Greg Shin says the goal is to develop a five-year plan that will illuminate best practices and identify communities' needs. And we want to study those needs and identify the gaps and build in solutions. Maybe something's working well in Oklahoma City that's not working down in Broken Bow. Or maybe they've got some amazing housing model up in the panhandle and we want to replicate that somewhere else. Homeless Alliance Executive Director Dan Strawn says Oklahoma City and Tulsa have made strides in recent years in reducing homelessness. But we have also seen some troubling increases over the last few years, increases in the number of families with children who are homeless, increases in the number of what we call couch homeless, so people that have lost their own housing, but they're not literally homeless as HUD defines that. Strawn emphasizes it's not just an urban problem, so they hope the survey will also provide answers for rural areas of the state. Homelessness in Oklahoma City looks much different from homelessness in Tishomingo or Cole County or someplace like that. And, and so with this survey, we're ho hoping to get input on, especially on rural homelessness. The five-year plan that will come out of the survey will replace a 10-year plan that called for expanding resources available to homeless people, improving transportation services, and expanding the amount of affordable housing. While Oklahoma has one of the most affordable housing markets in the country, it's still out of reach for many. What's affordable to a family with $40,000 in income is in no way affordable to a, a family with $10,000 in income. And that low end of affordable housing, we just don't have enough of anywhere in the state. If you work full time, at minimum wage in Oklahoma, you have to work 85 hours a week to rent a two bedroom apartment. Shin says the five year plan will incorporate some elements of the previous 10 year plan, including education and employment strategies. One of those was an employment program called Individualized Placement Services, uh, IPS. Um, and so we're going to expand that IPS model. That's something that we were implementing under the previous 10-year plan, but now we're going to try to take it to scale in the new five-year plan. While homelessness sometimes seems like an insurmountable problem, Shin points to the success the state has had in reducing the number of homeless veterans in the state by more than 10 percent. If you multiply that out times hundreds of veterans that used to be homeless on the street and they're now in housing somewhere with services that they need, that is a measurable impact. And he believes the cost of doing nothing is too high. You've got people that are being in constantly, uh, you know, having emergency transports uh, to hospitals, emergency rooms for, for unattended major medical problems or serious mental illnesses or substance abuse uh, issues. When you measure the cost of an individual experiencing chronic homelessness, it can be $30,000, $40,000 a year per person versus providing housing plus services to that same person might only be $10,000 a year. That makes reducing homelessness a win for everyone. A reduced presence of homelessness is good for business. It's good for the quality of life. It's good for tourism. It's good for education, uh, re you know, family stability, um, education rates, graduation rates. There's no, there, reduction of homelessness means that you would probably see more people in the workforce. The deadline to take the survey was Friday, but officials plan to continue accepting results through the weekend 
and hope to have some action items to present to the legislature next spring.